So everyone, we're going to review your life path so far on this life. Again, allow your feet to relax so all the energy coming into your body can flow through your feet. Invite the top of your head to open up so all the good energy can flow into you through your body and down through your feet, radiate from your body. If you feel any pressure or pain or discomfort anywhere, acknowledge it and give it permission to release and relax. And once again, we invite your soul Invite your soul to nestle at the top of your chakra system to act as the gatekeeper, the guardian, so that any beings or energy or frequency or messages that come through have been vetted to be at the frequency of love on up and only sent and shared for your best well-being. And we invite our Akashic librarians to join us because they are the keepers of our life paths and our life stories. Before you came to life, your soul invented you. Your soul sat with the energy, the sub part of your soul that was then to become you and the major part of your soul, that's like the, the oversoul of your whole being, sat together and designed your life. Whom you are as a person is the perfect decisions that they made. They designed you perfectly for this life. You are perfect for yourself. You were designed to navigate a series of life lessons, karmic lessons, frequencies, emotional connections, soul contracts, and to make it through a life path for some sort of purpose. The purpose may be to gain experience. The purpose may be to complete karmic lessons left hanging from past lives or to prepare for your next life. The purpose may be for self to bring lessons to your soul. Also for community, for service, to be of benefit to others. You've had ups and downs in your life. When you have a soul contract that brings hardship to your life, it is always for the purpose of pushing you forward and directing you to your life path. And you will find when you look back on those hardships, when you've gone forward on your life path, you do not feel the distress and the pain that you felt when you were in the middle of that because they were there for a purpose to send you forward. When there are things in your life that bring trauma and drama and distress to you that are just life happens experiences and they become a karmic lesson that may or may not be complete, if they still currently pain you, they are lessons that are not complete. So you'll want to wrap them up or you will carry them to the next life. When you look at any hardship, that the lesson is complete, you have learned what there is to learn, you no longer feel extreme negative emotions, the pain, the anger, the remorse. Those are released because that lesson is complete. Just as when we look on our past lives, and they're interesting. We don't need to feel personally impacted, but we can feel compassionate for that life. You may have the same attitude when looking at this life path. You may emotionally, in a way, rise above it with that bird's eye view that gives you that sort of um, non-reactive way of observing it. 
So as you know, you were born in this life. Your first soul contract was to your birth mother. Made you happen. The baby you who came out of your mother's womb and who grew up to be whom you are, your intelligence, your emotional capability, your physical self, your eye color even, your basic natural skills and temperament, these you had designed before life. Some experiences you planned before life and some you didn't. But who you are in your core and in your body, you designed, you are perfect in your design. You were born and you went forward through your early childhood in life. You learned to speak from your parents. You learned how to use the bathroom and how to feed yourself and how to bathe and cleanse yourself from your parents. You learned basic manners from your parents. None of this is part of whom you are. These were things you were taught. You may have learned religious preferences, political preferences, intellectual preferences from your parents. These ideologies were taught to you. They are not who you are. They are part of a structure that was built around you that taught you this is the reality that you function within. It is not who you are. Who you are is yourself in your core being radiating out. Look to your youth. Anywhere from baby through high school or college, however youth is comfortable for you. With your natural way of being, the times you were curbed, and had to diminish yourself or oppress yourself. The times you had to silence your throat chakra so you did not speak your truth, or the times when your third eye visions were questioned or belittled and you had to either mute it or become silent. Look to these moments. You do not need to emotionally react, just observe. Look to these moments and see the effect they had on you and the chronology of these rebukes, oppressions, and diminishments. If you'd like, you may whisper to your young self, it's okay. You can be yourself. You're awesome. When you look to yourself, you were on your life path. Anytime you spoke of what you saw or thought or felt, you were on your life path. That was young you on your life path most likely developing the skills that would become naturally useful for you for your life path ahead. Take a moment and just see these visions that were within you that lit up your life path. And again, observing you can observe with compassion. You can whisper, you are awesome. You're amazing to yourself. As you went forward with your life path, some decisions you made for yourself, 
some felt truly organic, very natural. You looked in yourself and had certain skills that you felt like you wanted to grow and evolve for purpose. Allow yourself to connect with moments and memories of this. As you go forward with your life path and your memories, you feel where you felt guided on your, it felt right. You felt like you're going forward to make your heart feel good. And you can feel where you were stopped with doubt or well-meaning advice from people that took you on paths that were less enjoyable. Just with an overview, look at the difference in your life paths or feel the difference between your decisions that were made from your heart and soul and the decisions you made because it was the logical one that everyone agreed you should do. From your soul's perspective, all these paths are equally valuable because all of these paths bring you experience that you will then bring back to your soul. Every moment of your life has been of value and greatly appreciated by your soul. Following your life path is more for your fulfillment while you are within your life. Your soul doesn't care. Your soul's just happy you're doing stuff. But for you, you can look at the energy of these different paths, the paths that have gone towards great joy and the paths that have gone to other emotions and states and look at what is best value within them and invite all that energy to merge. There are healers that work with us in life with all of our parallel lives. When you make major choices, you can merge into parallel lives. So when you look to all the life choices you've made that you're like, oh, I wasted my time. There is most likely a parallel life that made a different choice. When you have passed from this life, all of your parallel lives, one after another, when they all pass, you merge back into the one being of you with this entire wealth of experience. If you wish to have the energy and the frequency and the skills from the choices you have not made, Allow your imagination to connect you with your parallel lives and bring that within you to this life. You will merge eventually. You may as well enjoy a little merging now. You live with the choices you made in this life, but you can invite the wealth and the best moments and elements of parallel lives. 
any decision you made that you regret, invite the wealth of the other side, if you made the other decision, to flow into you. In your life, the only purpose remorse serves is to remind you that you have a karmic lesson to complete and that your path is always bright ahead of you to be fulfilled with joy and return you to love. Go forward, live your messy experiences, make your many mistakes, then return to love. Learn your lessons, complete them, resolve, release them, return to love. And always look to yourself. And remember, you are a being that was born from your soul's love. You are a being of pure energy and love. It is appropriate to give you yourself permission to truly love and value yourself for being the perfect design your soul created to be the perfect you and navigate this life. As many times as you will incarnate, this is the only life where you are the you of this life. So as we were saying about seeing people's potential, you know your potential. You might hide from it, but you know it. You know in your heart, you know when you were a child what made your heart sing. And you know your potential. Look forward on your life path. I guarantee it leads to your potential. Everything you have done in your life, every experience, had led you to this point and this point going forward will lead you to your potential. Look back. See where you are now. Look forward. And then select one karmic lesson of the messy lot of them that you would like to resolve, complete, release, so you can return that element of yourself to absolute love. Beautiful. Give yourself an appreciation. Looking at yourself is one of the hardest things. Looking at yourself with honesty is one of the hardest things we can do. Appreciate yourself for being so awesome. Remember, you are amazing. You're doing great. And when you are ready, Return to this room. And get ready to heal all your hanging karma and go forward with your wonderfulness.